Coming up, a new case of the Omicron variant is found here in the U.S. Its connection to a big convention in our area. The showers have wrapped up, the cold air moving in, just how chilly it'll be by morning. Not a morning person? Well, New York Live is here with the tips to change that so you can own your morning. Welcome back. This is News for Now for December 2nd. I'm your girl, Kay Ingram. Now, we are learning about a new case of the Omicron variant in the U.S., and it has a link here to the city. The Minnesota Department of Public Health says a man from Hennepin County who recently traveled here to New York City tested positive for the COVID-19 Omicron variant. We know that he's an adult and he attended an anime convention at the Javits Center from November 19th through the 21st. We're told he had mild symptoms, was fully vaccinated and recovered. Governor Hochul says it is not a time to panic. We do anticipate there'll be more cases, but to the extent that they are mild, We'll address them. This is not cause for alarm. Again, it was foreseen ever since it was first uh, reported out of South Africa that we knew it would come to New York State at some point. As of Thursday morning, there are no confirmed Omicron cases in the city, but hospitals are already busy. The state has identified 37 hospitals with fewer than 10% of their beds currently vacant. Six of those facilities are in our area. Officials say the beds are mostly filled with flu and non-COVID patients, and other hospitals can take on additional patients if necessary. Now, in New Jersey, a Howell High School student is in huge trouble after posting a photo of a rifle on Snapchat. We don't need what happened in Michigan, as heart-wrenching as that is, to be, you know, vigilant and, and to be aware as to what, unfortunately, has become commonplace in our society. This is the photo with the caption, Don't pee you tomorrow, posted by the student. That message was interpreted by police as don't pull up to the school tomorrow, don't come here or else. The principal at Howell High put out a statement Tuesday night, reading in part that the post was immediately investigated and found to be not credible. The principal said that the student will not be returning to school for the immediate future. Police also said that the gun depicted in the Snapchat photo is actually an airsoft pellet gun. It looks like a real semi-assault weapon though. Police say the boy's father purchased the pellet gun. And it is a historic inauguration in Connecticut. For the very first time ever, a woman has been sworn in as mayor of Stamford. To the best of your abilities, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, Madam. <laughs> Stanford's government center was packed as Caroline Simmons took the oath of office as the city's 32nd mayor. The mother of two with a third child on the way vowed to be mayor for everyone. We have the opportunity to use this turning point in our city's history to make a difference and create a lasting impression of Stanford as a welcoming, inclusive, and thriving city that we can all be proud to call home. Now to get to know this new mayor, Simmons previously served for seven years as a Democratic state representative. Her first official order of business was a meeting on fixing infrastructure in Stanford. Ooh, it is the comeback we've all been waiting for. Well, myself specifically. Toys R Us is making a brick and mortar comeback. The toy retailer plans to open a 20,000 square foot store at the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It'll offer several experiences for kids, including a two story slide. There will also be a cafe and ice cream shop. The flagship store is set to open later this month. Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4, meteorologist Maria La Rosa. A bit of a roller coaster temperature wise over the next couple of hours. It's been mild all day, breezy as well, and temperatures stay in the 50s through midnight. And then we start to see and feel the temperature tumble after as we head into tomorrow morning. That's the cold front coming through. The shower's pretty much done, just mostly cloudy skies. But take a look with those winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Out of the south at first, northwest by morning, the wind chills are down into the teens and 20s, and it'll feel like the 30s in the city by tomorrow morning. Actual temperatures pretty chilly, 41 degrees for the low in the city, 37 in White Plains. Most areas temperature wise staying close to those lows, so a frigid Friday to wrap up this week. Now, if you have ever hit snooze on your alarm, 
you're not alone, or have groaned at the words rise and shine, well, this next segment is definitely for you. From coffee and cleaning to jogging and journaling, New York Live is here with some simple tips for becoming a morning person in no time. Today I'm meeting up with Women's Health Editor-in-Chief Liz Plosser to talk about how to kickstart our day in the most ideal way. I have been on a mission to share the magic of mornings for many years. Um, I feel my strongest, happiest, best self when I have a really awesome morning. I believe that how you start your day is how you live your day, and I wanted to share that with the world. Now, I feel like that sounds great, but it also sounds like it's so much easier said than done, but there are just some simple hacks that we can do to realign everything. There's no cookie cutter approach. It's more of a choose your own adventure and make the morning that works best for you. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Coffee, the yes. key to a great morning and a great day. Um, I love the ritual of having a warm cup of coffee, hearing it brew, the smell. smell. Exactly, it's all awesome. And then of course I love it when the caffeine hits my system. Mm -hmm. So that is definitely key to a great Liz morning. I also make my breakfast here. I typically have a smoothie um, after my workout. I don't eat before I work out. So um, yeah, this is where the, the morning magic happens. Okay, so teach me how you journal because I do have a gratitude notebook, but I neglect it often. So how do I not do that? Oh my gosh, I have so been there. And here's what helped me immensely. I give myself permission to end after one word or one sentence. And that if I'm not feeling it after that, I can close the book and try again tomorrow morning. That takes a lot of pressure off to like write a lengthy list or fill pages and pages. And chances are, once you write the one word or the one sentence, you'll just keep, keep going. going. Well, speaking of gratitude, Liz, thank you so much for today and for putting this book out in the world, which is available for everyone to get and implement these tips into their lives. Yes, and please don't forget to hashtag own your morning and to share your wins with me and readers everywhere. Amazing, thank you. The Christmas tree here at 30 Rock is shining bright tonight. It was lit Wednesday night. If you missed it, y'all, crowds returned, packing the plaza. It was much different last year. Crowds not allowed. 50,000 lights are sparkling, though, right now. Five miles of wires and a 900-pound star on top. News Force Adam Harding is here with all the excitement. <laughs> Seven-year-old Coco Morales could not contain her excitement. Uh, please, come on. She stood around waiting to see the Rockefeller tree all lit up, and when the countdown finally began... I'm gonna plug my ears. <laughs> she was in awe. The lead up to the big reveal, a live holiday concert. And there were crowds, such large crowds. Far cries from what we saw in 2020. We've been waiting since um, six, five, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Among those braving the cold weather, Jenny Jones, here from England, celebrating her birthday. It's my big. 60th birthday, so uh, we've all my all my friends from England have come to join me to celebrate. First time in New York, and you came specifically for the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, <laughs> and I'm so excited. Jaden Kirsch is visiting from New Orleans. Like being here is awesome. Like I could have not asked for a better Christmas gift, honestly. All right, friends, well, I'm going to figure out how to make my way to that Toys R Us. But in the meantime, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow.